Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved on our how-to guide. Now before we get back into the game and we carry on with the guide, there's one thing I just want to point out that's going to make my life a little bit easier while doing this guide and yours is a little bit easier as well watching it because you're not going to have to watch me trying to level up or, you know, take forever to try and get to certain levels. So before we start, I just want to point out that I have increased the XP multiplier to 3.0. Now... Most of the servers, the XP multiplier will be increased because without it, it is a bit of a grind. So if you want to avoid that bit of a grind, then check out the XP multiplier. Alternatively, if you'd like to check out our ARC server, then make sure you do check out the description below for the two discords. Even one of the discords, you can join there and the details will be there. And uh, just let us know who you are, what you're about and what you want to do and where you want to play because we've got a few servers on there. But uh, yeah, if you want a nice friendly PvE environment, then make sure you check out the link before. But without further ado, let's get back into the game and back onto the guide where you've all come to see. And uh, let's see what's in store for today. So from me and Pebbles, welcome back to the guide. As you can see, our Pebbles is uh, exactly where we left him off. Well, actually, I've moved him slightly because I've placed some boxes down. So I've just got a couple of levels before I increase the XP multiplier just to uh, continue with today's guide. Uh, and save us a little bit of time so i've grabbed a couple of them and hopefully we're going to try and tame another dinosaur today if we get what we want i'm going to try and make it a little easier for you to uh to tame dinos and also escape dinos so let's have a look and see what we can do right first of all before i start anywhere i just want to go through what you want to do with your dinos you do tame so that if i miss it later on or i miss something later on at least then your dinos aren't going to die dinosaurs eat food just like you do in the game, the dinosaurs will eat the food and depending on what type of dinosaur you have will depend on what food they have. A dodo is a herbivore so it's going to need uh, berries. Now obviously if you try and press E on a dodo you're going to pick him up and throw him around. There you go. So what you want to do is hold E on him and access his inventory and you can see here his inventory I've, I've swapped out so when we tamed him, he keeps what you've put in his inventory. So I've taken out the Medjool berries because they're still useful. And then replaced it with these Amar berries. It doesn't matter what berries you put in. He's going to stay nice and healthy. His food's going to stay up there. So when his food drops down, he's going to take a little bite out of his berries. Um, and obviously the same goes for any of your carnivores. If you place raw meat on there, then they'll eat that as well. You'll also notice the spoil market does continue. But they'll eat it usually before it spoils. But just keep an eye out on that. And obviously, if you need to swap out a few things, don't get rid of your spoiled food. Remember, we're going to need that later on. As you can see, you can already see the XP multiplier already going to work on our poor pebbles here. Um, so yeah, so let's have a look. What do we want him to do? Right, so depending on what you want your dinosaur to do will depend on where you put his XP points. Uh, now, a lot of your early dinosaurs are going to want weight and melee damage um, now the reason why I say that is because weight will hold more things for you and melee damage will do more damage to whatever you're trying to harvest now I say harvest because most of your dinosaurs you get at this stage are not going to be fighting dinosaurs and um, some of them can defend themselves and you can certainly use some of them to fight um, in the lower early areas but you're not going to go into a big fight with them so the XP bonus sorry the melee bonus you're going to get from this here isn't going to make a massive difference it will later down the line but we'll cover that later uh, now this dodo is absolutely useless for everything other than carrying a bit of weight for me if I want him to. Um, he's my mascot, so I'm going to increase his health, so he's going to stay alive a little uh, easy. So he's got his, his levels up. You see his ancestors. Well, he's got wild ancestors, so he's got no ancestry line whatsoever. He's nice and safe, and he's happy, and he's hopefully happy anyway. All right, Pebbles, it's not about you, mate. There you go. He's happy. Happy days. So as I say, he's my little mascot, so he's going to be my little pet. I mean, dodos can be useful for certain things, but for me, it was just to show you how to tame something so you're not lonely. Uh, now, on to us. Let's step out in the daylight. So, for us, we've got ourselves two levels now. Obviously, I want to get to level 11 for our wood hut, but we can still do a couple of things before then. Again, I'm going to increase my movement speed. Now, some people will argue and say, uh, wait, so you can carry more stuff. My argument is, is I haven't left anywhere nearby that I need to worry about my weight for now. And the second thing is stamina. People will say, oh, pump up that stamina. Well, I'd rather run away from things faster than longer because ultimately you're going to run out of stamina. So if I'm further away, the likelihood is, is I'm going to survive a little bit more. So the bonus is to running faster is usually good. Some dinosaurs can also outrun you as well. So no matter how far you can travel, if you're going to die before you reach it, then... It's a bit useless, so that's why I do uh, do my um, movement speed rather than stamina. 
Okay, so we've got ourselves 24 engram points. We've got our slingshot, but we need to improve on that. Um, now, we can get the wooden club so we can batter people to sleep. But the first thing, and the most important thing as soon as you get level 9, is bowlers. I will explain. Now, the other thing we can do is we can get ourselves a bow and an arrow, but that's going to take us 13 engram points, which leaves us with 3. A couple of things I want before then. One of them being the narcotics, and one of them being the mortar and pestle. We've got four more points, so then we can have a look at what else we want. Well, yeah, do I want the stone arrows? I can get them now, but I can't fire them. So I'm going to hold on to them four points for now, just in case I do need anything. Else. Now these, I don't really need these for now. I don't need a wooden club. I mean, it's going to be nice, yeah, but the sling will do for now, and the bowlers will also. Right. Why do we want bowlers? Well, there is one enemy on here that you're not going to outrun, and... You're going to find them early on. That's raptors. Them little bastards. They are. They're absolutely terrible things. And bowlers are a godsend. So what you want to do is you want to get yourself crafting some bowlers. Get on to our crafting and let's see what we need. So you're going to need fiber, hide, stone and thatch. We've got some hide because we've been killing the small dinosaurs. So if we look in our boxes we should be able to find some. There's probably some hide outside to be fair. I've got some hide there. That, oh, I think I've just... Throw it out. I, I threw it into my inventory. Uh, I'm going to find what hide I've got. A little bit more hide there. What else did we need? We needed... Him. So we needed some fibre, stone and thatch it. That's easy enough. Fibre. So I'm going to... Half that by pressing shift T. Half that by shift T. That's my fibre stone I just... Need... Thatch it. Oh. I have some inside. Yep, oh, there's the thatch. So now I can make myself some bowlers. That door just now. Uh, and we've got another point. And we'll spend that point in a second, but let's get our bowler done. Yeah, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to craft. We'll craft four bowlers. And they're going to go straight onto our hotbar because then if we get a problem with dinosaurs that we can't outrun, you can hit them with a bowler, hit them on the legs, and it'll just. Trap the legs like a ball actually does, and they'll fall to the ground. You can also use them to uh, knock them out as well. But, um, bear in mind, at this level, you're going to have to get close to dinosaurs to see what their levels are, so these are usually a good thing. They are not indefinite, though. They will run out. So uh, be quick. Okay, we've got our next point. Let's pump that into movement speed. And we've got ourselves some wooden stuff. Wooden foundation, wooden wall, etc, etc. Obviously, foundation is important, and so is the wall. Everything else can come as and go, as and, as and when. Come and go as and when. The wooden door and the wooden door frame are probably the next two. But we've got our upgrades. Now, I am actually going to upgrade straight away. And the reason for that being is, if you upgrade straight away, the likelihood is, is you're going to, um, yeah, you're going to be able to, obviously, uh, let's craft them. You're going to be able to get some more points out of it, so... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see what have we got. So we've got most of the things in already. So we can craft a couple of foundations. Can we get... No, we can only get... Just get all the faction wood we have. Remember, as crafting, you cannot... Uh, you can't move. And if you overfill yourself, you'll also be stuck on the spot. Well, I'm also stood exactly where I want to be. So I'm going to risk it. Grab a few more bits and bobs here. Craft. I'm going to craft a couple more of these. We'll only do more more. I oh, will craft the door while we're here. Uh, wall here, sorry. Oh, look out, we've got another experience point. Look how much faster that is by doing it three times. Now, obviously, if you're doing it completely standard, it is going to be slower than this, but I just want to get through some of these levels so I can show you some of the later stuff on a little bit earlier and we don't have to sit around waiting for levels. What I want, that's what I want, the eye button. And it's only one, so I'm going to place here like so. And then I'm going to hit on like so. As you can see, I got back five thatch, one wood, and I think it was three stone, I think it was, or three flint. Something like that. I missed it. Yeah. You. Wrong button again. Press the I button. I'm going to then place. A look at this, and I'm going to place. Uh, thatch, wood, and fibre, sorry. Thatch, wood, and fibre. I'm going to do the same for this one here. Right click, I'm going to press play, so you can press the E button, and there we go. This stuff will disappear in a minute. It just gives us a little bit more defense. Two things. One, Dodos can't get in. And two, Dodos can't get out. He won't go anywhere. But if 
you happen to have some issues with him and he tries breaking his way out, he's going to wreck your place, so, you know, be wary of that. Okay, another level, excellent. Let's get that into movement speed. And we can now look at doing uh, a couple of things here. Now, we can concentrate on our wooden door frame and our wooden bow. We can do all these other wooden things here as well. We need to start looking at the bow and arrow. So, since we want protection, I'm going to get these. And then I'm going to grab the stone arrow for now anyway, just so it's, it's there, it's done, it's out of the way. Um, there's nothing really else you want out of all this. I mean, the water skin is useful if you're traveling, but right now we're nearby our water source, so let's not worry about it. So, all we need to do now is we just need to basically grab all of our wood. Um, that's useless. I'll break that down later. That's also useless, but I'm going to tra transport all my wood into my inventory. Transfer all my wood into my inventory. Again. Now, I did manage to try and get as much as possible earlier. Jump. However, as you can see, we've just gone right through it. You will go through it. It's, uh, it's a greedy process, unfortunately. Only craft one again, but we can craft the door to replace the door. Now, what I'm going to do is, since I've only got one more um, foundation after this, I'm just going to leave it off the hot bar and do this more. We've got one more to go, and we've got the door as well. See if we can replace this door. What we need to do is we're going to demolish that door. See where I'm placing it. There we go, we've got a wooden door now. And three days! So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go and gather some more wood. I'm going to place it into one of the boxes in here. And then we're going to craft up the last bits. And that should be our little hut ready to go. And then we can move on to our next objective. And welcome back everybody. And as you can see the bottom half of our base is completely upgraded now. The uh, bottom section here is uh, kind of a bit more defendable. And so is the first layer as well. Don't worry about the top layer at the moment. The likelihood is, is the dinosaurs that are going to be able to break this are probably not going to be around near you. Now, there's a couple of things I do want to comment on, and I didn't want to do it whilst I was hatching uh, trees, because it's just boring to watch. But if you notice, when I sh swing my hatchet, whenever I'm doing anything, you see the energy bar going down. If you bring the energy bar down low enough, which I will do for you now, you're going to start struggling for stamina. Um, and if you're building something like this, then the likelihood is, is you're going to not notice that your stamina is going to go down. And then you're going to find yourself in a bit of a pickle when a dinosaur tries to eat in your face and you can't run away. Don't hit him. There we go. So as you can see, we're just coming down to the last little bits here and it's going to tell us that we're getting tired. There you go. You're tired. Stop moving for a moment to regain your stamina. If you try continuing, you're going to pass out. To avoid that, if you right click and have some stim berries on you and you consume a stim berry, you'll see that the stamina goes up real quick. To be fair, the stamina does go up quite nicely, but just in case of emergencies, chuck yourself a stamina, bear stimberry to give yourself a boost of stamina, because then you can run away from the dinos. It also helps whilst you're running away from dinos to obviously increase the stamina regen as well. So just bear that in mind when you are doing this kind of work. You're going to need a lot of resources. There we go. Right, okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to tame something a little bit better than our uh, mobile snack that we've got here. Just in case we're struggling for food, we've got our pebbles we can eat. I don't want to eat pebbles. Don't worry, pebbles, you're safe. But I do want something that's going to help us eat a little bit safer um, and not have to worry about food. Now, obviously, I've been eating the berries and the meat that I get, but the berries that I actually get isn't really a lot, and I don't get much meat either. I managed to get a couple of meats because I've been killing the dillos when they try and attack me. Dilophosaurus. So, yeah, I've been killing them, and they give me a little bit of meat and a little bit of hide. They're not the best thing in the world, but they keep me sustained. I want to sustain myself a little bit more comfortably and not have to worry about it. So, what you want to do is you want to decide what you want to tame. Now, I know on this little area here, we've got a couple of potential tames. And um, we've got the Peridons. Ah, oh, what are you doing? Uh, level two is really low level, but uh, I mean we could look, we could get him if we want to, but we ain't got a saddle for him, so he's going to be pretty useless. Uh, yeah, we got the trikes, we got the dillos, and we've got raptors. Don't don't do the raptors; they're a pain to uh, to deal with. So you want to avoid doing them. 
So decide what you want to do. I'm going to go for a herbivore because a herbivore is a lot easier to keep alive at first. And yeah, it's going to be easier for us. So what I want to do is I want to drop off everything in my inventory. Apart from the things that I need. I'll keep the steam berries on me just in case. I'll drop everything else off that I can. Just so that my weight is uh, you know, not too bad. I don't know why I've got the brain. Just press all of them, I guess. Uh, I want to keep my meat as usual. But I'm going to need some medjo berries because I'm going to go for a herbivore. Can have a look around. There's our medjo berries. We'll get our medjo berries. We've got our sling on our um, on our hot bar, and we've got our boulders as well. I'm going to take half of the um, half the stone by shift and dragging. I'm going to get my next level. I've actually got two levels. I'm going to put them both in movement speed. Now we've got a couple of levels now that we can be doing some stuff with. I'm not going to go into uh, this stuff just yet because most of it is just more wooden built. But, uh, we can now get a bow if we want. So we'll get the bow. We get a small crop plot as well if you want to grow some food. Good for kibble as well, which we'll explain at a later stage. But we've got a parasaur saddle. So if we want to get ourselves some transport, we can go for a parasaur, which again is a herbivore. Um, or we can go for something else. We've got cooking pots as well we're going to need. There's loads of stuff in this that we're going to need. Um, but right now, I'm going to hold off getting anything else. Make sure there's nothing else around me. And then we're going to go and try and take out... Uh, we'll probably try and take a trike. Because a trike is probably the best one to get at this level. So let's go and head out to... Oh, I'll tell you one thing you do want, not want to forget to do when you've got dinosaurs in any enclosure, including your house, is leave your door open. Pebbles was nearly breakfast for a raptor. Avoid the raptors if you can. Um, the only reason why I say that is because they are an absolute pain at the beginning. They jump on you and knock you down. And that can be the difference between life and death. Um, the bowlers are to keep you from uh, getting basically eaten alive. So what I want to do is, is now, if you remember right on the episode 1, and the reason why I did it and didn't bother with anything, if you try and attack this, it's, it's passive. So it's going to run away from you. The first thing it's going to do is run into the water. If you knock it out in the water, it'll drown. It's got oxygen. It needs oxygen. Always oh, charging. I'm stuck in the water. And there we go. We were killed by the trike. <laughs> That's not a problem. That's our first death. As I say, it was to be expected now. There we go. There's our sleeping bag, which is on our X. If you want to click on your sleeping bag. I can't see it because of the X on it. And you want to click on respawn at sleeping bag. Now that's going to remove our sleeping bag. So we're going to need a new one. And we're going to need to try and figure out whether or not we go for the track again. Or we go for something else. So as you can see, our bed's gone. Now it's coming to night time now. So we need to make a decision on whether or not we try and do another tame at this time. I'm going to get my body back. Which is this big green marker here. Access inventory. You need to grab all your clothing off them. Then you can transfer everything over by pressing the T. And then jump out of the water. We died. The track is now friendly to you. It seems to have forgotten who you are. And then we want to get our gear on. Took our gear on. You'll have to excuse all the uh, the extra content I have from the game. It gives it to you every time you die. So get rid of all that. Okay, so we're going to aim for a parasaur now so we're going to use our bowlers on a parasaur when i find where he's gone he was here a minute ago it's getting night time now so we want to make sure we get this done pretty quick without problem but here's our parasaur and we want to make sure he doesn't run into the water so let's there we go now if you've got yourself a club you can use the club for this but we're just going to keep hitting him with our slingshot until he passes out Uh, come on there we go he's been knocked out so again the same as what we did with the dodo is we give him medjo berries we shove on whatever medjo berries we've got and all we want to do is want to keep an eye out making sure that the taming bar is faster than the unconscious bar so as the unconscious bar drops down we want to make sure that jumps up a bit more and this is our first useful dinosaur there we go yeah so we should get a good tame on this not going to be the best in the world now there's a couple of options you can do i know i've shown this the other way you can do it is you can starve the dinosaur but that runs risk of it dying and then you can feed it all at once and you tend to get a little bit more of a bonus and um, but we'll not worry about it too much 
we'll let him eat. He's going to be fine. He's going to need some health when he gets back up, but we should be able to figure him out easily enough. Now, it is getting night time, so we've got to be careful here because we may run afoul of uh, a predator dinosaurs. So this is the options you've got. You, you can stand around here and defend your dinosaur if you want. The uh, predator will more than likely go for the weak dinosaur before he goes for you, so you can use him as a deterrent. You can run away if he comes and attacks you. Or, uh, or you can just go back to your base, deal with your stuff and come back. Likelihood is he's going to be eaten. So the choice is yours. But well, we're going to cut here for a, sh a quick moment while we uh, while we wait for him to tame. So I'll see you all shortly. And our Parasaur is now tamed. Now, I'm going to name this one myself, but I want some suggestions from yourselves uh, for some decent dinosaur names. Um, something, you know, something nice, something funny, something, you know, anything along these lines. Nothing ridiculous, but... You know, something that's going to make me laugh every time I see it. Something like that's going to be cool. So please, in the comments, get some name suggestions down. And if they're decent ones, then I'll make sure they're included. And I will give you a shout out as well, letting everybody know who's given the name to the dinosaur. So uh, get them in the comments below and we'll see some dinosaurs named with your names, hopefully in these future episodes. But we've got our parasaur, so we're going to call her Toes. And we're dying for some. Oh, because we're freezing to death. So... Got our armor on, haven't we? We do, but because it's night time, we're freezing to death. So we're gonna get toes here set to uh, behavior, follow distance down to low. I right, come on, toes. I'll probably change the name of that parasaur, uh, but it's toes for now because it's our transport. Now, obviously, we've got no way of riding our parasaur, and if we don't get back quick enough, we could potentially die here. Uh, uh, you're injured. Recover some health. Okay. Obviously, we're really low health here, so... Come on. We're almost back. Just going to see if I've got any berries. I've got some berries. So we'll eat the berries. Get all the berries down. So hopefully that'll stop us from dying. We'll increase our health a little bit. Oh, we're going to make it... We made it, we made it, we made it. Where's that? Access to inventory. Gonna grab the food quickly. There we go. Now obviously meat heals us, so... The berries just basically delayed the process. There we go. So we're, we're back up to... Back up and healing now. Let's try and get some wood. Have we got any wood at all? We may have used all of our wood for construction. Can't see anything. So dark. We've got a dinosaur on the way now. Okay, dinosaurs are in the way with his head. There we go, moved it. Good. We'll quickly run out, even though it's pitch black and freezing. As you saw, we didn't do so well with the uh, trike. Be wary, and the, the point there was that, you know, even though it's a low level herbivore. It can still quite easily kill you. Bear that in mind when you come to tame something. Don't underestimate your dinosaurs. Yes, it may be a herbivore. Yes, it may be low level. But them spikes hurt. Now, there's a couple of problems we've got here. Number one, I can't see anything because it's that dark. I'm going to get some light on here. Light fire. There we go. And we've got some heat as well. So that should keep us alive nicely. And... Uh, Blitzed head nice. Now, the problem we've got is our toes out there is all on her lonesome with no defense whatsoever and a dillo or a raptor or anything could come along and kill it quite easily. So, um, yeah, there's not really much we can do about that just yet. So we're going to have to start thinking in the future about what we can do to keep the dinosaurs alive and safe. Um, right now it's low level. I'm not too worried. But when I start putting saddles on it, it's going to cost me a lot of money. Talking of saddles, we can't ride this dinosaur until we've got a saddle. Let's go and pop our extra point in speed and let's have a look at the saddle. Now, we know it's level 9 because he told us. Where is it? Parasaur saddle, there it is. We saw it earlier on. We're going to get the parasaur saddle there. We don't need anything else at the present moment. What have we unlocked? We've now unlocked hide clothing, which will be a little bit better in the uh, weather. We've unlocked gunpowder. Compost bins, used for the later stage. Right now, we haven't really locked, unlocked a great deal of anything. Venting pace, yeah, later on. Yep, nothing I can see there. 
We've unlocked the narcotics. A lot of mortar and pestle, which will be coming useful in the next episode. Uh, but we haven't unlocked anything else that we're going to need at this present moment. Uh, but we've got ourselves uh, the saddle. So let's have a look at what we need to craft it. Parasaur saddle. We need fiber, hide, and wood. We need 80 hide. Now, the best bet is probably to kill lots of dodos. Um, it's not the greatest thing in the world, killing loads of dodos, but it's probably going to be the easiest. We're going to aim for anything basic that's meaty, that's going to have hide. Don't aim for the uh, trilobites or the fish or anything like that, because they don't have, um, they don't have hides. They have chicken skin, um, scales, and stuff like that. So well, there's nothing much we could do now. It's night time. We're kind of stuck here, so I'm going to call it quits on this. Me and Pebbles are going to go on and get some sleep. Um, toes, you're going to stand guard. Uh, let's have a look what levels we got for you, Toes. Let's uh, let's give you some. We'll give you some movement speed because you're going to be my transport. I'm going to pull out the berries that I had in there. I'm going to put in some Azul berries now. Uh, uh, Amar berries, sorry. But that's, there's only two berries, so it's going to die. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the stack. Split in half, and I'm going to split in half again. And that will keep her alive until the daytime. Level 20. Full health because she's managed to eat and heal up. Pebbles is still safe. We're nice and warm. We haven't got a bed, so we've got to be careful if we die again. So we're going to have to make ourselves a new hide, uh, hide sleeping bag. But yeah, so don't mess with trikes. Their head hurts. They'll kill you in about four hits. And uh, hopefully that's giving you a little bit more of an insight into taming. These are obviously quite passive tames. You saw the bowler there working wonders. It went into, a, into the uh, parasol's legs and stopped it from running away. Perfect, ideal, and you want to make sure you keep a few of them. They do exactly the same to raptors as well. And then, them things can outrun you sometimes, and if they knock you down, they're going to lightly kill you. So, top tip, keep the ballers on you. Until next time, everybody, from me and Pebbles, good night. See you all in the next one. Bye for now.